Hello, this is my 2018 Middle Ages castle project I, for social studies. I built mine in Minecraft. That way I could have uh, uh, access, access to multiple blocks, items, and different building strategies. The first thing on our list is our outer bailey, which is also known as our courtyard, which you can see by our little nice little sign down here. We got some melons, some potatoes, and wheat in our little garden with our farmhouses. We also got some pigs, sheep, and cows for food, for any materials that we need from them. Also, there's a couple of chickens roaming around too. Find them. The next thing is our inner bailey. So now, what happened is, if the enemy ever gets through our walls through our gates, which we'll go through later, they come in here. They'll step on the pressure plate that's here, opens the door. to a problem. Can't get out. It's a one-way entrance. So what happens? They wander around here, trying around. They can't get out until they wa end up end up finding our guard. Now since our guard will be in here for a long time, we made him a little hut in here in case it rains or anything. In case it's cold out, you can come in here. He's got some water, some books to read in his free time. He's got a bed, couple beds in here, and he's got some furnaces to make some some food. Now the next thing we will go to is our wall. Now as you can see over here, our little sign. So the wall is what goes the whole way around the whole property of this castle. The next thing you might be wondering is, wait a minute, there's no keep. There's nothing for the king to stay in. Well, that's where you're wrong. We will show you. So if our soldiers need to, they can come in the inner bailey in here. They can climb up here, and they can shoot arrows in case anybody gets in the inner bailey. Or in case you see our holes out there, they can shoot out through them. But what the, other so what the extra soldiers will do is they'll come down here, flick this lever. But if the enemy get in here, they'll be like, oh, it's an empty room. we got to get out. But the soldiers know. Flick that lever. And it opens up a whole secret. Slander the water, that way you don't die. And this is the keep. See, we got the paintings and stuff. And we got some more stuff we'll get to in a little bit. But next up is the king's bedroom. So this is where he has his armor, some beds he can sleep in, and a little chest for him to put his goodies in. Now, what happens if the enemy gets down here? Well, they'll see this painting, and maybe they'll know there's a secret door hidden behind here. Which, they're right. There is. But what the problem is, it doesn't go anywhere. But that's where they're wrong. The soldiers and king know. Flip that lever. And in here, there's all the king's valuables. All his gold, diamonds, and iron. It's a good thing we have so many secret hidden passages. That way nobody can find them. That they, If they're not familiar with the pro property, they will not know where they are. Now, in the fact that the king family does get trapped in here, you can see we got some food in there. Potatoes and some soup. And we got some meat in here. Got some water in case you need to wash your face or wash hands or for drinking, whatever they need to do. Now next in here is another booby trap. So they'll come down this hallway, the enemy, and they'll be like, hey, there's a chest here. I better search it. So they'll search it, and they'll be like, oh, there's nothing in here. Wait for it. And then it blows up. And hopefully it'll hurt them, damage them, or even may possibly kill them. Now in here is the wizard's room. He's not currently in here because he's out somewhere. Probably doing, probably searching out for some materials to make some potions, but I'm sure he'll be back sometime. So in here, he's got some cages in case he needs to make uh, use any animals, and he got some water in here and brewing stands and some crap tables and furnaces in case he needs to make himself some food or any other uh, items. Now the next thing is we gotta go back up top for this next one. So travel on up here, go this way, look over here. I believe it's over here, is it? Yeah, here it is. These are pirates. So these are the little wall low walls that you can see around the whole castle. They go the whole way around. Next thing is is our core bills. There's the little brackets that help up pro um to help prop up the uh par par sorry parpet parpets. Ah, it's tongue fester. It's talking too loud or too fast. Now these little brackets that go around are core bells. They're holding up the papyrus. That's what I'm gonna call them. That's how I'm gonna say it. There we go. And then next thing on our list is our um, Macai collations. Macocolations. That's that's probably not right, but that's how I'm gonna say it. There's little arrow loops you can see in here. That's what the soldiers can use to pour out hot tar or throw rocks or anything at the enemy. Now next is our moat. The down here, a little sign, a little sign for everything. We got our moat, 
which goes around the whole castle as you can see it goes over there and it surrounds the castle so that way that's another line of defense that we can use now the next thing on our list is our barbaric this is another extra gate so you can see how here it made a heavy wood so the enemy can't get in in the case that they find this secret little lever over here and get in there's another problem in here one there's our pork Porculius, which is our main gate, and also there's murder holes as you can see. So now what happens is that since they want to get over there, they're gonna have to do that, which is gonna signal water down, and hopefully that our that are, hopefully our are, get out of here. Ah! Hopefully that our, our soldiers will flick that lever and trap them in there, and then they'll drown. Now the next thing on here is our postern gate. This is our main gate which we'll show you here, you can see how it's secured with iron bars and heavy wood. So what happens is you flick that lever, come on over here, flick that lever, and you can see that without the water there, and without the other gate there, the barbaric, the barbican gate there, everything would be okay for our soldiers to enter or exit. Now the next thing on our list is our gatehouse, which is above our gate. So in here you see we have a gatehouse. This is where hopefully the enemy will be like, oh, this is an easy pot spot. There's no door. There's nothing. We just charge up here and get the king. That is where they're wrong. They go up here, and they're they're surrounded by a guard. So this is our not another one of our guards. Big, heavy, and strong guy. But he's a nice guy. So the next thing that we have to do is I'll show you around our little area here. So you can see in here we have our well, in case you need any water or anything. In here is like the planet house kind of, so they can come in here and soldiers can have meetings and stuff, so they can see the map here for a whole property. They can go up top here. Go up top here and they can look around, they can shoot arrows if they need to, or they can just look around. They do have access to over here to shoot, to drop hot lava, or um, not hot lava, hot oil or tar or anything. In case you need quick access to this, in case you're getting invaded at any time. Now the next thing we can show you is how we have our rocky ledges. So the rocky ledge lets us stay up top here and makes it so it will be very difficult for any intruders to get in. The next thing we'll show you. Is our little tower over here? Well, first we'll show. Let's show you this over here first. So over here, we have. You can see over here we got a prison guard. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But in here is our jail. So you can see we got two inmates. They're both in the same area, because back here they have a little little um court courtyard back here. They can run around stuff. So that they're not entirely cap captive the whole time. So next is we have two prison guards. And this is their little apartment building, if that's what you want to call it. So in here, as you can see, one's currently like taking a bath over here. <laughs> so in here, they got some books and a chest to keep their stuff and a bed. They got some windows so they can look out. And then we have exact same thing around the exact same thing up top here for another one. Here they got some water, chest, bed, and bookshelves. Uh, next thing we need to show you is down here. We go down here again. Go down here. Land in the water. Next thing would be the the more postern gate. Now what this is is it's for secret agents or not secret agents, but secret or spies or anything. They need to go in, so they can even come in here. Flick the lever. Come on out here. And then they can surround the enemy in case they're about taking over our castle. Now they come in here, and there's another one on the exact same other side about. There's another one over here, as you can see, another postern gate. Which leads us to, come on up here. So you see how it would be closed in case the enemy comes up here and they're like, oh, dead end. Gotta go around. Not the case. Flip the lever. Come on up here. It's actually 
in a cave, you follow these steps up here, follow these steps up here, follow them up here, climb on up here, and you're back in your own castle ready to defend it. Now this has been my 2018 castle project for modern ages. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.